Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Despite the rain and cold weather, today teachers from across the state stood in solidarity against Senate Bill 151. Numerous school districts in Kentucky canceled classes after teachers and staff called in. Rallies and protests occurred in Frankfurt and elsewhere. Teachers and public employees from Floyd and surrounding counties met at the intersection of Route 114 and North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg to band together. We really shouldn't have to rally. It's sad that we do, but we're here because we care about schools and students. We care about our retirees. My mother's a retired teacher. Both my grandmother's retired teachers. And my daughter is eight and she wants to be a teacher. A controversial bill that supporters say would reduce more than $40 billion in unfunded costs to the state's pension systems received final passage yesterday. Opponents, however, say the bill breaks Kentucky's pension promise to teachers. Yesterday, a very bad bill passed in the House and the Senate under the cover of darkness, and it was done um, in an illegal way without actuarial analysis and without uh, the senators and representatives having adequate time to review it. It was an amendment to a bill about sewer, wastewater um, type issues, and they changed that to be a bill about retirement. Senate Bill 151 was amended to add pension provisions that would place future teachers in a hybrid cash balance plan. It's similar to the state's retirement plan for state employees hired as of 2014. Another section of the bill would prevent current teachers and workers from applying sick days toward retirement eligibility. The bill now heads to the governor for approval. In Prestonsburg, Shelby Porter, EKB News.